My name is Juliet Eve and I'm a face painter. I've been painting about 20 years or so. Uh, so I'm here at Paradise Wildlife Park today to show you how to paint some popular faces. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to do butterfly makeup. Um, I've got Millie here to help me this morning. And uh, what I tend to do is blend several colours on the sponge at one time, which I think makes it much quicker. So I'll blend some colours on first of all, uh, and then outline with a, a stronger contrasting colour. Just gently close your eyes, pinch the sponge and go into the corner. And then, because you've got all the colours there at once, you can just roll the sponge up so all the colours come out at once. Same on this side. Put the green in the corner of the eye, yellow and out into orange. And she's got lovely brown eyes, so these colours always look good, I think. Right, close your eyes gently, good. A tap there, just a few colours. So this just gets the basic shape of the butterfly, which is one of the most popular faces, probably. Okay, keep your eyes open, look up to the ceiling slightly, and then we'll do the little bit just underneath there. And again, look up to the ceiling. That's always with the corner of the sponge. There we are, that's fairly well balanced. Don't worry if it's not perfect. And then what we then do is get a stronger contrasting colour. Um, I think I'll use a, I'll try a dark red. That goes well with all these. It's, it would be the next one out on the uh, colour wheel. And now I try and, when you're doing a butterfly, is to try and make the lines radiate out from the face. That's the important thing, because that is what's attractive to the human. They like, that's one of the reasons things like Spider-Man faces are so attractive, is because the lines radiate out. Um, and we want the thicker lines towards the outside. And dragging, pulling, a light touch, and then a thin one and a thicker one and so on. So varying the strokes. So when we put dots on, it's just almost a touch down. And if you can try and vary the size of them, so tiny weeny ones and some bigger ones. I think we're just missing something here. So I'm going to get a bit of dark green because green and red are the uh, complementary colours. They're opposite each other on the colour wheel. And they look good. They, they sort of a very sharp contrast from, from each other. So, I'll put a few like this. These are little teardrop shapes. It's just a matter of laying your brush. This is called Glitzer. It's a, a glitter gel and I always test a little bit on the back of my hand first. Uh, and it dries in about five minutes, but it really sets off a, a something like a butterfly. And there we are, that's uh, the butterfly makeup.